Hey and welcome to the Shave Tank and today I want to talk to you a little bit about my new shaving bowl. Let me juggle this a little bit. And it is this bowl, you probably saw it on some of my previous videos and were wondering where did the Shave Tank's other mug go and what is what's about with this. Uh, so here it is, my new shaving bowl and it is the fine accoutrements shaving bowl apparently made in Thailand and I bought this at uh, shavingstation.co.uk because they have uh, a lot of fine products now in stock which is really really nice and I was intrigued by the shape of this shaving mug because I actually never saw one like this and yeah, of course I have to compare it to my other mug, which is the Schwarz-Weiß Keramik, made in Germany. So, here it is. In Europe this is almost as expensive as this. So, I have to do a direct comparison. Of course I think in the US you can get this a lot cheaper, because sending this to the US will cost you a fortune. <laughs> Okay, okay. So let's talk about it a little bit before we compare it. The shape is, uh, uh, it has actually two arches here, one in the bottom and one up here, and then it goes straight up. And it has a lot of things going on here, a lot of uh, very articulated lines that when you uh, move the brush in there should help you leather up. That is really, really nice. Also, you have a nice big hole here, which I usually use to put my thumb through and I hold it like this. And this works really well because, as you can see, I can really clamp this nicely and hold it like this, which is really okay. And then you have something you can probably uh, put some uh, something through here and hang it up or something like that. And we have a little thing going on here. Um, my brushes did not fit to lay them in there, uh, but uh, a good Cohiba Corona will fit perfectly. <laughs> so if you're smoking cigars while shaving, this mug is definitely for you. Um, overall build quality. Uh, I don't know if it's due to transporting it uh, to Europe or something. We have some spots here where uh, you can see the ceramic coming through the paint and also here. And you have a slight uh, color variation. I don't know if you can see that on camera. The color here is actually a little bit lighter and then it's when you go down here it's getting a little bit darker. So that's uh, the difference. But how does it perform? And performance wise, I've used this as I said uh, on several videos and also on several shaves of video. Performance is really good. Um, you can, this, this structured lines in there really do their job. And when you uh, stir, you stir it up with your brush, the foam comes along very, very nicely. Even if you use a little bit too much water, you can work it in there a little bit and it, you will be okay. So that's really nice. Also, I thought that the foam will get easily out because of how, it's, how the edges are shaped here, but it didn't. Actually, keeping the foam in the mug is fairly okay. Of course, if you have lots and lots of foam going on, then a little bit will spill always, but keeping your main leather in there works really, really nicely. So performance-wise, really, really awesome. So let's compare it to the German version of Schwarz-Weiß Keramik, which is more round, as you can see, and has a little overhang here, and also has a very big thumb pole, so I also use this like, like so. So you can use it basically the same. Um, Dimensions-wise, the fine, I don't know if you can see that, 
is just a tad smaller and it's also not as deep as this one but works fine. Um, of course when it comes to build quality uh, this is pretty much flawless so even the uh, crossings here from one ceramic to the other they are almost or they, they are flawless in my book they are hand painted so there is of course some variation in the line but in my book this is a flawless craftsmanship and one thing the only thing that I mentioned that is actually different when using it leathering up I usually warm up my mug with hot water it's not a stair not scuttle so I can't put any water in there but usually ceramics hold temperature really good and this also holds some temperature but due to the fact that this is thicker I hope you can see it I'll put it in front of the camera this this ceramic is a lot thicker it holds the temperature a little longer so even if I do three passes this will still be warm and the leather will be warm on, th on the third pass this will already be a little bit cooler it's not cold or anything but it's, it is a little cooler so if I'm in Europe and deciding between these two I would get this one because they're almost the same price if you are in the US you won't have much difference and I think don't pay, I don't probably cost you 50 bucks to ship this to the US so you can also get this one and will be perfectly fine so I hope you enjoyed this video about the fine shaving mark and my findings about it I've, for me this is a keeper, I always wanted a second good mark and works really really nicely so I'll keep this around Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, let's all high five and I see you next time.